we have other plans. We are headed to meet somebody y'all would like to see. We would love to see. We're heading to Russellville. Welcome. I said Russellville, but really we're coming to Mount Nebo to meet Jonathan. There he is. Hey. I know y'all have been wondering where in the heck is Jonathan. If you're new to the channel, this is my brother. So Jonathan has been very busy. He works full time at Mount Nebo and he goes to school. The only way we were really able to spend any time with him was to come up here to Mount Nebo and camp. Now where we're camping, this is not the campground. Jonathan got us the hookup. What is this, like a group site or something? Yeah, it's like a group site, group area. So you could reserve the group area if you want to. Can they? Yeah, they can. Yeah. I think it's like $25 a night. So it's probably a little bit more. Yeah. So it's a little bit extra, but you get all of this area here to yourself. All of it. And then there's basketball and looks like tennis across the way there. And I'm cooking tonight. I'm making a taco soup. Never made it before for y'all. I haven't even said howdy y'all. Howdy. Yeah, he's been setting up. He's been setting I've been, up our camp. I was taking down whenever we started and I'm setting up now. <laughs> oh, and some of the most epic mountain bike trails in the state of Arkansas. Just right there. Right behind Kelly. <laughs> right there. This morning we said when we were leaving Eureka Springs, it was going to rain. It's been raining there all day. It is now coming here. We hope we can ride the trails tomorrow. We just have to see how it plays out. It could flood, we don't know. So that's a sad part about it, but we get to spend time with my brother. We're excited about that. Chips and sauce are my favorite. And this is my girlfriend, the lady in waiting. Some of the best chips, hands down. But Kelly, if you notice, kept her pressure cooker. Yes, so we're using the pressure cooker. We also still have our outdoor stove and our table. This is Jonathan's table, but we do still have our table. We are just waiting on our propane. So we, this is another last thing we need to install. We brought a mount and a 11 pound propane that's gonna sit right here in the corner of the bumper. And that's gonna allow us to cook outside when we want to and use the Jolka shower system when we want to if we're by a beautiful creek. So tonight we're doing the taco soup. The meat in the taco soup I'm using is chicken. So I've got two chicken breasts in the pressure cooker. I'm letting it go for about 20 minutes. And for the seasoning, I use salt, pepper, cumin, paprika, chili powder, onion powder, and garlic powder. Once this is done, we can shred it and then we can start the rest of the dinner. The mount that she's talking about will bolt in directly here. I don't know if we're gonna put it here or or there. One of the corners. One of the corners. We already had the propane tank. It's been the mount that we've been waiting on. It is being custom built by Gal and Etsy. And of course we had to see Jonathan when we left. That was the other big thing. We miss that kid. He's one of the greatest people alive. He really is. Yeah. Don't tell him we said that. <laughs> Guess who's back? John B. <laughs> I missed him. Well, Angel Princess has got her chicken done and this is what it looks like. And what else are you doing, honey? Uh, so right now I've got some celery. That's about it. There's some celery right now. Okay. Last little bit I'm chopping up is garlic. And then I've already chopped up celery, onion, and carrot. And I should have had a bell pepper, I guess. I don't know how that slipped my mind. Yeah, it's really coming down out there. It's getting heavier. And Jonathan's geeking out right now. How do you feel about it? This thing is so nice. <laughs> I love this. I do. There's so much space. Even like, a, like I'm pretty tall. I'm like 6'4", and like this bed's roomy, and I don't hit my head on the ceiling or anything. We're all in here hanging out. Yeah, we're all in here That's hanging out. That's the crazy out. thing. And the table's intact. Yeah. Now I'm just eating my chips and sauce, and I'm happy. You've almost seen that whole bag of chips. Yeah, I need to right? stop. Yeah, I need to stop. Jonathan has now moved down to the table. Jonathan, how's the table area? It's also a very good experience. It really, up there you can kind of look down on everything and right here you're more in it, I guess. <laughs> you have like a sky view of, of the whole camp. Oh, okay, okay. I like yeah, it. Sky view. Of, right here you have more of like a, I don't know, like in-person view of it. Like, I don't know, the, the, the like, city like view. Yeah, yeah, the, you're engaged. Up there you are more like, you felt disengaged up here and down here you feel more engaged. Is that it? I mean, I felt engaged in both places. This like is it. real nice though. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> I gave you my chips and sauces since I was eating it all. We got one more bag of chips, by the way, so don't worry. Mm. Enough for the uh, taco soup. 
Yeah, because I want I like to put chips in it and avocado. So for my vegetables, I'm gonna go ahead and throw in the carrots and the celery first. And I'm gonna let that cook a little bit longer because it I need it really soft. My vegetables are tender, so we're gonna throw in some tomatoes, some seasoning, my usual cumin, chili powder, oregano. Let's do a little more chili powder. Ooh, almost dropped it. And some tomato paste. And then we can't forget the broth. Cody wanted to show Jonathan his new uh, musical instrument. <laughs> Play me a tune. <laughs> Serenade us. Yeah. I'll, I'll, well, I got his one. They're laughing at me because I'm bad. Oh, hold on. It's a little practice, but no, he's working on it. That one note's really good. As we're waiting for the food to, the vegetables to get soft. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now my vegetables are soft. I'm gonna take my immersion blender and we're gonna make it puree it. it smells good even without the bell pepper. Yeah. I mean, it's still gonna taste good. I feel like every time I make something for Jonathan, I forget something. You ever notice that? Yeah. Well, be the first like, yeah, I'm making notes. I'm taking notes. <laughs> We've got some chicken going in. Oh, this is the chicken I told you guys I cooked earlier in the pressure cooker. I just shredded it with some forks. I did two chicken breasts, and I'm just seeing the consistency of how much I'm gonna put in there. I put in uh, kidney beans, black beans, corn. That was after I pureed it. I think that would be good on the chicken. Look at that, y'all. So what I like to do is take some chips and crunch them up like that. I guess we'll take chips and we'll crunch them up if like that. If you want, I just, I don't know, it's taco soup. Oh, Jonathan, did I tell you that this is my, my girlfriend? The lady no. in waiting? That's my lady in waiting. <laughs> One of the best chips. The lady in waiting right there. Oh, uh, you're so weird. That's good. We good? I'm happy with it. You're happy with it? It's good. I guess if you're allergic to peppers, you can still make it without. Well, we're going to enjoy the rest of the evening with Jonathan catching up and enjoy this delicious meal. And we'll see you all in the morning. See you at breakfast. Good night. Good morning, y'all. It rained so hard last night that after we said goodnight to y'all, we were gonna take Jonathan's canopy down and it broke in mid-conversation. So I mean like five seconds after we said goodnight to y'all, that thing came down and broke. The good thing is, is Jonathan's getting our old one. It's at his parents right now, or their parents, and we're gonna have to just dispose of that because it, it broke the legs like bad. It's a little bit chillier now. It's in like 54, it was 72 yesterday when we got here. And if you see all these houses up here on Nebo, so Nebo originally had a little town up here and during the Great Depression, a lot of people couldn't pay their property taxes. So it went over to the county and the county acquired that land, eventually giving a lot of this up here over to the state. Then they made a state park, but there's still private residences up here of families that the land has been passed down from generation to generation from I think the late 1800s, early 1900s. Mount Nebo's highest point is 1,350 feet above sea level. This is a series of islands in the sky, so to speak. If you go east of here, there's Petty G Mountain, which we did a vlog with Jonathan this past spring. And then from here on, there's Spring Mountain, which is all privately owned. And after Spring Mountain, there is Mount Magazine, which is the tallest peak in Arkansas. And Mount Magazine is sitting at 2,753 feet. So it's a lot taller than this one. But look at this view.
morning. Good morning. So I'm making something completely different this morning. I don't even know what I'm doing. If y'all remember when we had did the vlog, we went kayak camping recently. We had this West Memphis grit souffle and it was so good. I was like, I'm gonna have to just recreate that. So we're we're recreating it. So I have polenta. I've already sauteed a shallot and jalapeno. And I'm gonna start with the polenta. I'm just trying to figure out on here, it says variations. We got creamy polenta with milk. This says it used milk. Now I'm not making a souffle, I'm just making the grits. And then cheesy, but I wanna add cheese. So this says do it with the water, but I kinda wanted to use milk. What do you think? Whatever you think you wanna do. Cause I am gonna add cheese. I mean, it can't be too creamy, right? Yeah, then it would be like um, cream of wheat or something. Mm. So yeah, let's not do that much. All right, will you put the milk up right there? It is done and I should have known with these hungry boys that there's not enough for seconds. But Jonathan has leftovers from last night. All right, I hope it's good. If it's not, we'll figure out something else. Let's see. Pretty good. I think it does need salt. Actually, Kelly, that's really good. Maybe it needs more butter. It is good. That is really good. So we're running into a little bit of a dilemma here. Apparently, the state park's own website is wrong about the elevation of what this mountain is. It says 1,350 feet. Jonathan said that there's stickers up here saying it's 1,850 feet. And then there's a sign up front that said that. I was like, well, the website didn't say that. He says, well, use Kelly's meter thing. And it's fluctuating, but it just said 1,800 feet just a minute ago on her little app. And even this Onyx Off-Road app shows where we're sitting at right now, 1,755 feet. But I don't see a 1,850 foot on Onyx. We're at the highest point, Jonathan said, right here at this spot where that's the highest point. And as you can see, this is the whole top of the mountain. Looks like a, like a water drop or something. So it's only 1,755 feet according to this. Did somebody stack up some rocks or? <laughs> I don't know. So it's, it's confusing. Well, uh, we're not sure what, what what the elevation is. We think we figured out why the state park system is saying 1,300 feet because that's how much it's rising from the river valley. Because the river valley already sets at like 430 or 470 something feet. And so if you subtract that from 1,800, you get... Close to the three, 1,300. Yeah. Ah, okay. But it just doesn't make sense why they why, do it like that. Yeah, because everything else is hardly anybody bases a height off of its uh, base of its mountain to the peak. They usually always tell you what the elevation is above sea level. No. I wonder how they do magazine. They do magazine from the base, from sea level. Really? Yeah. That's how magazines determine it's about sea level. Huh. You would think they would base all of them off sea level. Yeah, I know. That's what made us confused. Okay. We learned something new. Yeah. At least that's what we're guessing. All right, y'all. Cody's been editing majority of the day. And it has been raining and very cold, but it looks like the rain has stopped, but it's very, very windy. We still want to go on a hike, no mountain biking. And Jonathan has actually been at school yeah. since like one o'clock today. So he just got back, it's about 3.30, and we're gonna go do a hike. Oh, and it's 50 something degrees, and it says it feels like it's 43. <laughs> That's the feels like, so yay. So glad it's so warm outside. <laughs> We've been in the camper all day just because it has been so cold and windy and it was raining. It wasn't really like rain, it was like mist. What's the what's the wind max right now? I think it said like 40 miles an hour. Mm. Up here on top of the mountain, 40 <laughs> mile per hour gust. Pretty wild. It's drying out all the, the rain, but there's still a burn ban because of the 40 mile per hour gust. Are you all ready to go Heck walking yeah, out there? Go. Gosh, yeah. I'm looking forward to it. Let's do it.
So this is cabin 60 that the rim trail goes on the back side of. And all these lot of cabins appear built by the CCC in the 1930s. This one, this is one of them that has one of the best views of Mount Magazine and all the Washita's out there. I would agree with that. And they all have real wood burning fireplaces in them. One of my favorite trees that you can see in the Washita's, very common, is the hickory tree. Look at that. Oh, and here's another cabin, cabin 62 and 63 is Jonathan's favorite because it's kind of hidden down the hill right there. But look at that view. Look at that. Most of them have one bed and then either one or two couches with a hide a bed. That's what he does up here. He's a maintenance super. What are you? I'm the housekeeping supervisor. Yeah. <laughs> Moving on up. And then this is Three Seas Mountain Bike Trail, which is like a beginner friendly mountain bike trail for kids or Me. anyone anyone that wants to get like <laughs> introduced to mountain biking. Super easy, fun trail. We were going to go mountain biking today and we're concerned that the trails might be a little slippery and wet. Well, we were slipping on some rocks and leaves just hiking. I'm just glad the sun finally came out because it was dreary all day today. I'm thankful we had a camper to be in. <laughs> That building is the current maintenance shop, but this is the old CCC maintenance shop. Built them right next to each other. The new maintenance shop, I think is now like a historic site or something, or historic building, since they built it right next to each other. Oh. Yeah, there's like a plaque and everything on the new maintenance one. shop. That's crazy. Just a day in the life of Jonathan up here. <laughs> And then that's the fire station. And the reason we have a fire station up here is because there is a wildfire that started over off of Ola Mountain, I think, or Jones Mountain. And the wind was blowing to the west and actually caught this end of the mountain on fire in 1980. And so after that, they put a fire department up here just in case for wildfires. We got our little exercise in for today. And this here it's is dinners. the dinner. So we have a lot of cooking to do. What is it? Rear uh, beef, it is or sorry, deer chunk roast. Deer chunk roast. So that's what the label said. All right. So now we're gonna go up to the bathhouse, which is where the campground is. We want to show you guys the campground here, the bathhouse, and just give you a little more information on it. You did hear us say there are cabins here, which look really nice. But we're gonna show you the campground. We drove down here not only to shower but to fill up our water tank. Now this is the campground here and then hey look another truck camper hey look another truck camper there's two of them here so this is the campground area the normal campground area now we noticed on our way up here there was a sign that said any trailers over 23 feet long are prohibited from coming up this road why you ask because it is very very curvy it was crazy coming up here i always forget how curvy it is but this is a bathhouse right over there and i'm gonna have cody show you the shower because it is really nice just got cleaned off squeaky clean really nice shower right here with that awesome view how many times can you walk into a bathhouse and you're like wow look at that anywho and here i guess is a concession stand in the summer because we have a pool right there with an awesome view again but the shower's pretty nice there's nobody in here i just showered it is this big old thing. That is nice. But know it's gonna be even nicer. This deer are about to cook up. Tonight for dinner, we are making, like we said, the chuck roast. It's a deer. We're gonna cook that in the pressure cooker right now. He's patting it dry, and then we've got some seasonings that are go on, gonna go on it. All right, so I've thrown together some Worcestershire soy sauce, balsamic, and dry mustard, and I mixed it together. And then on the meat is garlic and pepper. And I'm just gonna pour this in here. And that will be it for the meat. 
And we will put that on the pressure cooker outside. And it's still cold. I think it's going to be 30 tonight. Something like that. I think it said 41. 41. I'm cold right here. My nose is cold and ears. <laughs> <laughs> I wish we could still have a fire because I would make a big one out there. All right. And put it on high, but don't put it on like crazy high. Okay. You know how there's a difference? No, I just know that there's different levels. So is that crazy high, Kelly? Yeah. Okay. Right there. Right there? Yeah. All right. Here's there it is. We're going to stand right here next to this <laughs> truck. He put his truck here to block the wind. Yep. <laughs> we can make a fire in a grill. You can have charcoal fires. That makes no sense. I know, right? <laughs> You can make a charcoal fire in one of the grills or in a fire pit with the grill grate on it. But you can't have wood fire. You can't have an open flame fire. Yeah. Right on. Man. So Jonathan's got the timer for 30 minutes. We have no clue how long this is going to take. But once this goes off at 30, we'll pull these off with the pressure out. See what it looks like. But right now, it smells amazing. Yeah, it does. Angel Princess. What else are you making to go along with this? I'm making asparagus and an acorn squash. This acorn squash cut it in half, got all the stuff out of the inside of it, and now we're gonna put some stuff on it. What? I'm not sure yet. All right, we've got some olive oil. You're welcome. And guess who showed up? Hi guys. Erica. <laughs> if you're new to the channel, this is Jonathan's significant other, the better half of Jonathan. If y'all think Jonathan's cool, no, Erica is so much cooler than Jonathan. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna do some brown sugar, maple syrup, cinnamon, but I'm gonna let this bake first. Maybe some cardamom. Um, if I can find a nutmeg, I know I've got it. Okay. Close it. Okay. So I'm kind of gonna basically do it like a sweet potato. I'm gonna do, yeah, some maple syrup. I'm not really sure yet. I'm just got it all out. I don't really know what I'm gonna do yet. I am gonna bake it for a little bit. I'm gonna go and put it in because that might take a while. Did we check the meat? Not yet. All right. Got the timer done on the meat, and I think the meat is already done. But it tastes so good because I took a piece off of it. I think we did something right. So Erica, what have you been up to? Uh, working, internship, it's been good. I've been learning lots. You did an internship in Little Rock. I did, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so I work with youth with behavioral disorders. That's been interesting. You're not gonna believe this, but we have four people in the camper right now. <laughs> it's extremely cold outside. It's probably like, it feels like in the 30s, but what do you yeah. think, 40s? It's like probably. 47, probably. Yeah. Jonathan's nose is still red. Erica's yeah. nose, your, your mm -hmm. nose is a little red at the end. It's kinda getting hot in here though. I've got thermal <laughs> It on. is very warm in here, yeah. So Kelly finished everything, the acorn squash, what all did you put on it? Um, maple syrup, butter, brown sugar. Okay, that's looking good. And what'd you do on the asparagus over here? Salt, pepper, oh, that's it. Oh. I like her salad. Oh, she said oh. oh. And then on the meat bag here, I don't know how we're gonna prepare that. So we're gonna get a uh, plate designed and then we'll let y'all see it. Designed. <laughs> the plates are done. This looks really uh, uptown high rent. It's Real? eclectic. Very fancy. Mm. <laughs> We're here for that. I love that word. I do. How do you feel about it, Jonathan? I'm excited. All right. Erica? Jacked. Kelly? Jacked. Jacked? <laughs> Looks good. First bites in, and what does everybody think about the meat? That's the big thing here. Meat's delish. Good. It's like a roast, but a little, I don't know. It's, it's, like it's different. It's much yeah. like a roast and like a tenderloin. Yeah. That was a squash angel princess. All right. It's good. Everything's good. Well, we're going to enjoy this for the evening. Spend some time with family, and we'll see you in the morning. All right, y'all, it's the next morning, and this will be the last time we get to see Jonathan until Christmas, and we're going to miss him so much. We're going to miss y'all. Oh, but all cry. of our stuff has come in in Texarkana, so we've got to run home, get the rest of that stuff, and we're heading east. And we'll catch you on the other. Bye.